Hi, my name is Joseph Ally. Welcome to my channel. And today we're going to be answering the questions. Should my manifestation be taking this long? And what can I do to make my manifestation come faster? Important topics, both time and speed. Knowing exactly how to utilize your subconscious mind to alter reality in the way that you want is the key, the single key to creating and manifesting your desires. And if you know exactly what to look for in this reality after you have imagined your desire, then you can pinpoint what you need to do or what you don't need to do. So before we begin, hit the like button. It does something to the algorithm so that those who wouldn't normally be able to see this video will be able to see it. Hit the subscribe button if you want broken down systematic techniques on how to manifest anything that you want in a systematic, predictable manner. So, and then the bell icon will keep you informed. It will give you notifications when I release a new video or when I schedule a premiere. So on that note, let's continue into these questions. Should my manifestations be taking this long? The answer, the short answer is, or, or the question that that kind of alludes to is, how long should it be taking in the first place? Oftentimes we hear the response, well, either you can manifest something instantly, or it depends on how well you imagine it, or everything has its own appointed hour. But there's actually a different answer when it comes to how long a manifestation should be taking. And what you want to look for is right off the bat, after you imagine, are you going to, or did you see some sort of indication that you have impressed your subconscious mind? So when you imagine something, it should not, and I repeat that phrase, it should not be taking months and months for you to receive an indication that your manifestation is coming. That is really important. A lot of people who I coach or when on my live workshops, a question that I get asked continuously is I've been imagining this thing for 27 years and I still haven't seen any indication. Should I just keep imagining or should I, you know, whatever. So invariably, the answer to that question is you should be doing something else. There's something missing because if you're not receiving some sort of indication or sign or echo or synchronicity in this reality within a couple days, then there's something wrong. Most times when we imagine and impress our subconscious mind, we will see some sort of synchronicity, someone echo or repeat the things that we imagined in our mind. We'll see it on a commercial or something or another will happen that will in essence be a synchronicity or a sign, right? A sign is simply something that's related to the manifestation, but not the manifestation itself and something out of the ordinary, right? So I wouldn't consider, I don't know, if I text someone all day long every day if they text me right after I imagine something, we wouldn't be able to definitively consider that a sign solely or simply because it happens continuously. But if I imagined being with this specific person or if I imagined receiving this job offer and the person, my specific person, texts me and I haven't texted her in, I don't know, a year or three months and she suddenly texts me within a couple hours, then yes, that is an indication that I have impressed my subconscious mind. That will mean that you have done the work and it is sure to come. Now, after that point, we aren't entirely sure how long it will take in order for your manifestation to come. Every manifestation does have its own appointed hour. The DNA of the seed that you've planted through imagining is unique, it's individualized. Even if I imagined the same thing once and manifest that thing, the next time if I imagined the exact same thing, 
it would not come at the exact same time, nor would it be using the same bridge of incidents. The reason for that is just, it's really simple, and it's because the world is continuously in flux. It's changing. So the state of affairs that the world is in right now right, for the bridge of incidents to unfold and lead to my end is not going to be the same as it is tomorrow. A whole new set of circumstances, events, situations, even personality traits can change within a day's time. So to target exactly when the manifestation is going to happen is not exactly something that we can know. But I'll tell you this right now, if you have been imagining consistently and you have not seen a single thing that you could consider a sign, then there is something wrong and you need to take a different approach. Oftentimes, there are a number of different things that could be going wrong. And I'll list a couple of them for you. One of them is that you've never impressed your subconscious mind to begin with. So that means that you didn't imagine properly or you weren't focused when you were doing it or you imagined the wrong thing Something happened where you didn't get it into your mind. The next factor is that you imagined somewhere before the end or something to that effect. So the sign that you saw, it wouldn't have been related to your end result. You saw, you saw something different probably and didn't notice it. That is another possibility, right, of doing something maybe incorrect. And ultimately the point is... You may or may not have imagined the proper scene. You may or may not have used the proper technique to impress your subconscious mind. Remember, the process of manifesting is to, and it's the same no matter what technique it is, it's get in a state of mind that allows you to impress your subconscious, right? Because the subconscious is the medium, the, the intermediary between your conscious reality and God, which is that who manifests everything, who creates the master plan, who controls everyone and everything, and in essence, makes your manifestation come to pass. So your subconscious mind ultimately needs to be impressed properly. In order to impress your subconscious mind properly, you have to make sure that you're using some technique or some scene that is definitely going to impress your subconscious mind. Something I do to ensure that I'm going to be doing it right, because I'm human, I could make a mistake any time, right? This physical carnal self is not perfect. Some people think that everything that I do is perfect when it comes to manifesting, but I'm a human being, right? I have thoughts, emotions, sometimes I'm tired, sometimes I can't focus. So the point is, is the solution that I found that works every single time to make sure that I've done it right, is I use a couple different scenes. As long as they're after the end, that's absolutely fine. And I'll use a couple different techniques. So whether I'm using first and foremost, I write it down from the point of view of already having it, or then also having an inner conversation or visualizing that end result, I'll probably use all of those. I don't imagine them at the exact same time I'll do one and then if I feel satisfied with my results, meaning internally I feel like I felt a thrill or an excitement or saturated with it, then I can move on. But most of the time I'll actually add space between it. Doing this is a more certain way to impress the subconscious and what you should expect to see afterward is something that resembles what you've imagined. If you've done this, then it's set. Right? There's, in scripture, it says something to the effect of, I don't have the quote exactly, but if you see two signs, then it surely come to pass. Like There's no question that it's going to happen. So one, usually, even for myself, is perfect. Most of the time, if there are more, sometimes I don't see them, sometimes we do. But ultimately, the point is just make sure you're thorough and you will begin to see your signs and then therefore you will know for a fact it is coming. If, if you see a sign and it is indeed a sign, then it's coming and there's nothing you can do about it. Finally, the last thing I want to talk about is the fact that you may simply just not have seen your sign. This is extremely common. It's happened to me before where I've imagined something and I thought maybe I had done something wrong and I just gave up entirely on it. And then later on, I realize that my manifestation 
came or it arrived or I was brought through a perfect bridge of incidents that led me exactly to where I needed to go. And in doing that, I looked back and thought to myself, did I miss something? Invariably, I always did. And oftentimes I can look back and say, oh, I remember now when that thing happened. I just didn't recognize what it was or I entirely forgot that this person said this thing or I was watching this TV show right after and it showed what I was imagining. You will, no matter what, if you imagine properly, you will impress your subconscious mind. And if you impress your subconscious mind, being that that is the only requirement to manifesting your desires, your goals, the moment you do that, the moment you impress it is the moment it gets set into motion. Now that doesn't mean it's going to happen instantly because certain events have to transpire. Things have to change. The world needs to be moved, orchestrated perfectly, right? The future has to be looked into by God or awareness and shape the events perfectly, rearranging everyone in an exact way to force you, to force everyone in the world that needs to be involved to take the actions necessary in order for you to receive your manifestation. But like I said, luckily for you, the only requirement is to impress your subconscious. And let me add, impress it accurately. So make sure you clearly define your scenes. Make sure you imagine in a couple different ways. Make sure you take your time so that you can be sure that you're impressing your subconscious mind and make sure you're aware of what's going on. Because if you get that echo, that synchronicity, that reflection, that whatever you want to call it, then you are on your way to receiving your manifestation, whether you like it or not. So relook at what you've done, analyze what you need to do and just do it. I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please hit the like button. It'll help a lot of people Hit the subscribe button if you want more broken down exact techniques on how to manifest whatever you want in fundamentals and hit the bell icon so you can get notified and stay tuned. Thank you.